Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Head and shout out Amanda Mason. Her and several people want to know my opinion on this story that's going on with Black Lives Matter. As you guys all know, Black Lives Matter has really been in the news the last few days. It's been crazy. There's a video that sparked a lot of outrage, and it took place at Dartmouth College. And basically, it's a bunch of college students, and they're bombarding into this library, and they are screaming, Black Lives Matter. In the library, you know, they're just really upset, they're angry. I'm gonna show you guys a small snippet. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Black lives matter! 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 Do you think black lives matter? Black lives matter! Black lives matter! So you guys just saw like a small snippet of that video and what bothered me a lot with that video I feel like some of these students out here don't even know how to protest anymore I'm trying to figure out the logic with going into a quiet library where people are studying for possibly finals math exams and everything else and Disrupting their learning environment to sit there and scream that black lives matter what do you think is going to happen in the library? I mean, it just makes no sense to me. And then the girl who's sticking her tongue out in the camera and flicking the camera off. This is why a lot of people cannot take the whole Black Lives Matter movement seriously because of idiots like this. They need to take notes from what went down this past weekend in Minneapolis. A young man named Jamar Clark was killed by the police. A lot of witnesses are saying that he was already handcuffed. He was not a threat to the police and that he was shot in the head. So they ended up shutting down Highway 94. Um, over 50 people were arrested. They shut on traffic for several hours people took to the streets to protest and everything else this is how you get results by going to that area and protesting where it makes sense not by going to a library and protesting against nerds who hold no damn power okay? government has joined an investigation into a police shooting in minneapolis jamar clark is brain dead after being shot sunday night there are conflicting accounts about whether clark was handcuffed when he was shot and whether he resisted arrest Hundreds protesting the shooting shut down Interstate 94 last night in Minneapolis. More than 50 people. Were National Guard is not here. I've been here throughout the afternoon. We have not seen them. So the National Guard is not here. What is here are a lot of protesters. They've been here, obviously, for the last few days. The, the numbers are growing. They've been chanting throughout the afternoon. In fact, they've linked arms at some point, wrapping around the 4th Precinct. And as you mentioned, and as we take a look at what's happening live, as well as some video we shot earlier, they say they they are not going anywhere. They want that video. We've heard so much about that investigators have of at least some of the incident Sunday where Jamar Clark was shot and killed by police. They want that video released. Now, the most intense moments uh, of all of this today, at least, happened this afternoon when SWAT and tactical officers approached an area where protesters were gathering near some bicycle cops. At one point, an officer got up on a car. It appeared things were going to escalate. They didn't. Those uh, uh, officers got back into their van and drove off. Meantime, Black Lives Matter organizers are upset with both police and Mayor Hodges. They feel that both of them have colluded, have worked together to push the protesters out. We have always been 100% committed to nonviolence and all of our actions, everything we, done, everything we have done has been nonviolent. This continues to be the same. The police are the ones who attacked us. The police are the ones who violently removed our peaceful protesters and one of them was sleeping. So this is very peaceful. I think it's good. I mean, um, things are happening and a lot of people are expressing themselves and uh, we just appreciate it. The family uh, is really appreciating all, all the support. Now that was Jamar Clark's brother you saw there. Uh, Clark's sister also came out here today, but she was not as supportive. In fact, she was upset that protesters were out here, fearing that it could uh, do more harm than good. 
In the meantime, as you mentioned, Mayor Hodges and uh, the police chief talked earlier today. Uh, it is completely understandable to me that emotions are running high in the community. They're running high for everybody in the city right now. It is understandable to me that people want to gather, that they want to have places where they can express themselves to one another and they can express themselves publicly. I appreciate the fact that people are doing that. I appreciate the fact that so many people are doing that in a way that keeps the peace. Uh, it's important for the community to be able to move forward together um, effectively uh, uh, as, as uh, in the coming days and weeks and months. There's no goal here. No, 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 That's my brother. I do feel like, you know, when you have issues like what went down at Dermoth College and what went down with the whole Bernie Sanders situation, it definitely taints the movement and it makes people not take the movement seriously when you do have serious issues like police brutality and people being killed by the police. It makes people not take those situations as seriously when you have other folks who are just looking for attention, who are just looking for social media validation, you know, so it's very, very hard to take this movement seriously when you have so much attention horn. Even when you go on the YouTube video, there's more dislikes than likes on that video. So it seems like a lot of folks are getting tired of Black Lives Matter in general, which is unfortunate because you have a lot of good people who are making strides, who are making headway, and you have a lot of damn lunatics who are mixed in there. And unfortunately, nobody's deciphering who's really out to do a good cause for the black community and who's there just to be an attention whore and just cause a lot of strife and animosity. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Let me know your thoughts on what you think about what happened in Dermoth College with the kids going into the college library and protesting versus what happened in Minneapolis with the Black Lives Matter movement out there shutting down the highways to protest Jamar Clark being killed by the police. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right. Do hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.